Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Wiggin' Out with Bobby Z, hosted by me, Bobby Z. As you can see, I'm at a different bit of an angle, and there's this big monstrosity going on behind me. If you remember from most of my other videos, I had them very straight on. I didn't have really ever show over here, and if I did, you can see that there were just a whole bunch of clear storage bins and wigs piled on top and boxes and crap. Just everywhere, crap, 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 crap. And my stuff, all of my hair stuff, was sporadically placed around my apartment. So I decided once I got some money in my pocket, I was going to go and buy a big Ikea drawer unit thing. Um, and I teamed up recently with Lady Bunny and I did a couple wigs for her for her music video. They were all really, really big. This was basically paid for by her. Basically, so this is now the Lady Bunny honorary bobby pins wig shelf and storage area. Wouldn't it be a bobby pins video if I didn't have my coffee? So basically what this is, is I'm going to move out of the way so you guys can see. This is the Expedit from, ooh, there we go. Basically what this is, you guys, is the Expedit from Ikea. And this is the 5x5 five five, and it fits in this little alcove of my apartment exactly like can you see that it's perfect this is the five by five and um i have two rows of boxes on the bottom and these are really great um they're just soft boxes but they hold so much stuff like i was able to put away all of my wigs all of my pieces all of my brushes all of my hot tools my hot rollers everything is in this and I still have an empty I have an empty drawer and I have an empty shelf and once I start to figure out what else is gonna go in here and if I'm gonna need more drawers or more doors or anything like that it's gonna move and it's gonna change and it's gonna rearrange um, but that's the great thing about these things is that they are really easily customizable got the expedit 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 I don't know I don't know how to pronounce it it's IKEA put it in the link in the bottom so I bought one of these. Uh, the one thing about this thing is that it's not really easy. It's easy to put together, but it's not easy to put together at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. They tell you you need two people to put it together. That's not true. I put it together by myself, but you need two people to stand it up. <laughs> comes to you in four boxes. I was an idiot and I didn't think, oh, well, if I can't pick up all four boxes by myself, I can't flip this thing over by myself either. Also, you have to set it up on its back. You don't set it up standing up. You have to set it, you have to set it up down and then flip it up because of these are all wood pegged together and they're hammered into place with a rubber mallet. Another thing, the way that they go together, it's two pieces and then the top and the bottom sit in like this instead of making a corner they sit underneath so there's bolts that go in this way to hold it in place however these bolts are not pointy the the bolted screw things are not pointy on the end so they don't actually go through the wood they're flat on the end so that they rivet into place inside the wood you don't get it quite in there all the way and you're, I used to power drill because I was not going to put this thing together with like that little tiny little ee, ee, ee thing they give you. I mean, come on, I'd be here for a week and a half. I use the power drill, but if you aren't paying attention or if you're not being really careful, it won't go in all the way and you'll strip the screw down so quick. The bolts aren't very strong metal, so I stripped them down. And luckily the two that I stripped down were on both on the bottom on the same side so they're on the bottom corners. They're just, they're, they poke out maybe like, one pokes out a quarter of an inch, one pokes out like a half of an inch, just because they wouldn't go in all the way because I stripped them down. Also, when you put it together yourself, um, you need a big area to do it in. So it was really hard to get this thing together in space wise, because I literally made it in about the same area that it is. It's, I think, 74 inches high and 74 inches across, like it's a square. And I literally had a square just that size. I also broke one of the shelves when I was putting it together. You put the little wooden pegs all along the side. You put the shelves in place. 
you hammer them in with a rubber mallet, and I had to get up off the floor to grab the up and down panel right here. So I got up and I grabbed the panel and they're not they're not heavy heavy, but they're definitely not light. And I kind of picked it up and I tried to flip it so that I could turn it sideways to get it over the shelf. And trying to go over, I clipped the bottom most shelf that I had just put into place. I clipped it right here and it wooden dowels cracked. Uh, two of the wooden dowels broke off entirely. The other two broke through the bottom part of the wood. And luckily, that little shelf that broke was on the same side where the screws were, were, were sticking out. So it was going to be on the bottom part anyway, which was great. So I put them on the bottom and I put it in that corner over there. So it's in that, at that bottom most shelf. So if you look at it, you can kind of see that that bottom most shelf over there is a little bit lower. This shelf right here is a little lower than this one. If you look, you can kind of see it's like a little lower. And that's because what I had to do was put screws. I put four screws and then I put the shelf on top. <laughs> Basic. They were like 20 bucks a piece for the wicker baskets. And I'm like, it's going to cost more to buy 10 baskets than it cost me to buy the whole shelf thing. That's kind of stupid. So I saw these which are um, what I ended up buying. And they are just a fabric box. I'm going to put the link in the bottom. I don't remember what they're called. But they're just a fabric box, and they come flat, and they zip on the bottom so that they close, and then there's a panel that folds down to stabilize the bottom. And they have a handle on either side, so once you take it out, you can pick it up. The one thing about these, though, is that the drawers themselves are particle board, and you know they come they come you know not put together so you have to put the little bottom on them and you have to put the side slats and the front and you actually have to attach the wheels and everything to them but they're great because they just pop right and you can pop them out however the one thing i don't like about them is that the casing this stuff you that you have to you have to screw into the frame for them to work this is vents cardboard it's not really thick it's actually kind of flimsy it might be particle board like a thin but it feels like cardboard to me and I'm pretty sure it is but that's my one thing but I mean these screw into there so they're in place so they're not going anywhere and then the, the drawers you know fit in pretty easily and they close so it's great so now I'm gonna do a little shelf by shelf and I'm gonna show you guys what all I have in here and what space I still have and how I organize and a few little tips and tricks and things that I use to kind of separate out my drawers to keep stuff from consolidating together when I want to keep it separate. So this is the big cabinet of stuff. Starting here at the top, I have all of my canvas heads. I have my display mannequin. I have my hair dye styrofoam head. Um, I have some more heads and they're doubled. So there's another row behind them. And then I have a whole bunch of styrofoam heads for when I ship wigs out or if I do events. Um, I like to have about a dozen on hand at a time just to have. So this shelf right here is two craft cases full of hair accessories and a whole bunch more uh, sectioning clips and finger wave clips. This shelf here is where I keep my binders from whenever I design shows. I put all the show stuff into a file cabinet and then I just reuse the binders later. This is my perm section, so that box on the bottom is all perm rods and perm accessories. And then I also have my bendy rods up top, which I barely use, but they're there. And then here I have my bonnet dryer, and then I have my lighted makeup mirror. And you're probably wondering what that uh, Honey Nut Cheerios box is for. That is actually for whenever I steam wigs out and I need a piece of cardboard to cover a piece that's already been styled or if a piece in the front isn't quite set enough I have to re-steam it so I need to block off the other hair with a piece of cardboard. I then have my extra product shelf which is a whole bunch of hairsprays, acetone, nail polish remover, um, glue remover, and alcohol. This is kind of the catch-all shelf right now. This is just some other boxes and a business card from a wig store. 
I now also have my own little hair and makeup bookshelf. Um, and those are all of my hair and makeup books except for, I think, one or two. Um, yeah, I'm excited to have them all within arm's reach so I can grab for research and stuff like that. This is my haircut and lace wig shelf. So on the, the Moroccan oil bag on the side is all of my clippers and stuff for men's cuts. I have my powder dispenser in the front. The stackable box on the side is all of my wig making and hair extension stuff. So my lace and all of those things are in there and then my scissors are all on top. Um, over here I have a couple wigs in a box from a client and then I have my steamrollers. That's only about half of my steamrollers. I let my friend borrow them. So um, that's only about half and then I have some extra suction cup stands. And then this is where I keep my hot rollers and you guys are going to be jelly. I have my mother's set of um, hot sticks from the 1980s and there's like 80 in there. It's amazing. So you don't have like the one dozen whatever that you can buy now. Now we're getting into the drawers. Yay. So this first drawer right here is empty. Da, 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 da. I tried to take all these things off and it's really hard to peel off. So I'm going to have to do that at a later point. Um, this is where I have all my aprons and my haircutting capes and stuff like that. This is where I keep all my wig caps. Um, whenever I send out wigs, I always send a wig cap with them. So I buy them in bulk. So I have a whole bunch in there. And then I just have loose wig caps and, um, ace bandage for wig prep and bin, um, bands and stuff like that all here in the front. This is my like hairnet drawer. So this is actually a cutlery organizer. That's the great thing about these drawers is that they're pretty, they're not as shallow as you think they are. So you can put stuff in them to organize them. So this is just the cutlery organizer. So I have all of my wig tape and top stick and stuff like that back here. And then these are full hairnets. These are hair extension clips. These are triangle nets. And then all right here are my styling hairnets. Over here are all of my round brushes. As you see, this drawer is full. I have a lot. This is my brush and comb drawer. So I have, you see my teasing combs and my brushes here. And then I took a, um, this is just a box from big Ziploc bags and I just cut the top of it off and I put all my extra combs in there. So they just all stay on the side and they're out of everyone's way and they stay organized. This is my end paper drawer, so all of these are end papers, and then all across the back are my extra bobby pins and hair pins and matte bobby pins and all of those fun things. This is kind of my other catch-all drawer. This is my extra gauze for cleaning. These are my extra safety pins for when I do really big, big wigs. These are my extra sewing pins. My extra pins are back here. These are my extra corsage pins my blocking tape, and then I have my magnet extra grabbits, and then I have a random small little compact mirror in there. I didn't know where to put it, so I just put it in there. And as you can see, that's where I keep my tripod and my bare foot, hi, my tripod and my dustpan is in this little alcove here. This is my drawer where I keep um, my weaving caps like this because I make falls from these and sometimes I make wigs from them as well. Um, and then this is all my extra hot rollers and hot sticks for the guys up here. This is kind of like my off, this is like my shipping drawer. So I have my shipping tape in here. I have a tape dispenser for my tape when I cover my office tape and then my masking tape fits on there as well. And then I have all my chopsticks over here, which are for when I ship wigs out. I stab them through the styrofoam head so that they don't wobble in the box. So now we're getting into the drawers. So this drawer is all braids, like jumbo braid and stuff like that, and rats, because I made the rats out of jumbo braid and fillers and stuff like that. I have some like weird like little Moesha micro braid things that I got in like a lot of wigs from eBay a while ago that I, I have to figure out what to use those for. 
then I have here, this is all of my synthetic hair. As you can see, this bin is pretty much full. This is all synthetic track hair for the most part, and that goes deep down in there. And that's not, that's not including stuff I already purchased for clients. That's just hair that I own. This is the human hair drawer. As you can see, I just have like a random nasty piece on top, but this one is also full. Again, I just have a lot of hair. Um, yeah. Next to that is my hot tools. So all my curling irons, my extra blow dryer, my crimping irons and everything goes in here. And then in here is, this is Bernadette's drawer. So these are all the wigs that um, Bernadette owns. Okay, so now starting down on the bottom bottom, this is my funny drawer, which is, you know, bright colored things and gray wigs. And that's where I put my extra baggies when I take a wig out and I don't remember where I put it. This is my black drawer. As you can see, that is full to the top and black wigs. So I don't have a shortage of black hair. Next is brown and red. This is um, the warm red. Next, this is the red bin. So as you can see, this one is also kind of full. And then we have the blonde bin, which is full as well. And then here at the end are all my pieces and wiglets, and I have a head shaping in there as well. Since I was able to do that, I um, was able to organize this a little better. So I have my spare stand up top, and then I have two stands here on the top and the center. And those are for when I'm working on a wig and it's really tall, I can't put it on a shelf, I just put it on the stand. My end papers are also there with all my pearl heads, and the shelves are all super dusty from all the hairspray that I use. I have baggies up here for storage and um, head coverings. I also have a roll of gift wrap that I never finished. Um, I have another lamp over here. This is where I keep my grabbits. Um, this shelf here, an extra shelf. So this is a, a pageant updo I'm working on. And then this is a Velma Von Hustle with a rooted front that I'm working on for both for clients. This is my little thing. Oh, that's my color ring, of course, as you can see, because it's hanging in the way. Yeah. This is my brushes and combs and everything. I have a spare set of scissors in there as well, just in case. But for the most part, it's all my brushes. This is also a cutlery holder. I have hand sanitizer, my alcohol and acetone. This is my wig stuff bin. So this is all my hairsprays, my oils, everything like that. I have a couple, um, whenever I do fittings, I save little notes. So I throw those in there too. This is where my water bottle lives. I also have a, a water bottle with conditioner in it, which is empty almost. Tissues, I use this for whenever I travel. I can, it's a little ouchy band-aid box, but the pearl head pins fit perfectly in there for when I travel. Then I also have all my drawers here, which are organized by type of pin and they're labeled. They're not in the right order right now, but they are labeled. So then below that I have a nice silver sharpie and a big piece of hair grody. Um, I have these two little drawer units. So this top drawer is hair nets. I always save the hair nets whenever I buy or get new wigs. I save the hair nets because then I re always reuse them later, either uh, in styling or shipping. Then below that, I have all my blocking tape. I have a lot because I recently did um, 10 lace fronts for Broadway Bears. So I had to have a whole bunch of blocking tape cut. And then I have my sewing drawer, which is all of my high mark, my little scissors, a measuring tape, and then I have needles and stuff underneath that. Um, then this cheaper, this is like a really cheap little drawer unit. It's so flimsy, I can't even move it. Um, this is where I have all my hair elastics. I recently bought two big packs of them and a pack of black and then a pack of color. Um, I always have both on hand. This is my drawer for little hair ties. Oop, I throw it all over the floor. It's my drawer for hair ties. For It's my drawer for little rubber bands. 
this is my tool drawer, so I have a pair of fabric snips for lace, and then I also have tools if um, I break the head off of a pin and I have to take it out. That's what these are for. Or if I have to cut um, a wig comb or anything in half, that's what the big ones are for. This drawer is all of my gymnast snap clippies. That's probably only about half of what I own. I have a lot. Um, and then I have pin curl clips as well. I almost never, ever, ever use these, but they're good to have on hand, and I'm e they easily are grabbed. And then this is my desk surface. So I have um, my big crocodiles and that guy. I have my duckbills and that guy. And then I have my nice expensive wig stand. And then there's that box that I dropped. <coughs> And then this is my shelf where I have my blow dryer. I leave my blow dryer out because I use it to clean or like to dust stuff off with. Um, I also can put some curling irons in here and they plug in here. This is just an empty box that um, I emptied out when I was cleaning and I'm not sure what I want to use it for. This is an empty Ikea bag from carrying all of these things home. And I haven't put it away yet and my shelves are really dirty. Look at all that hairspray. Blech! And this is one of my boxes of things that I'm currently working on for clients um, or for eBay, stuff like that. So as you can see, that box is full, so there's stuff coming. And then on this side, I just have a barbicide jar, and I have, that's actually a shelf, um, that's a drawer splitter upper thing, but it's too big to fit on there, so I just have it sitting there for right now. Then this is another basket of wigs for clients and hair for clients and stuff like that is all down here. And then I have all of my rollers in the bottom. Um, I used to actually have all of those rollers all in this set of bins here. And that bin was all extra stuff that is now in drawers. So you can tell they're both full. This one was overflowing. Like the drawers wouldn't close. They were cracking. And I was like, I have to fix this. So I organized them by size. So now I have a whole bunch of rollers, and some of these drawers are actually a little empty, so maybe I'll have to go buy some more. What do you think? Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like my Facebook page. Check me out on eBay. I don't have a lot of stuff on eBay right now because I've been too broke to order from my wholesaler, but I have some money coming in now from some commissions, so I'll be ordering from my wholesaler again very shortly. I'm actually going to be ordering from a new supplier, so I'm going to have even better styled lace fronts coming now with shoot me an email tell me what you guys want to see ask me questions i'm here for you guys to help you and subscribe and all of those fun things talk to you guys soon thank you guys again i'll see you next week bye